Hi, I'm Fiona Badash, two digital media specialist here at SRS Labs, and I'm here with Doug Morton. Hi. So, Doug, why don't you tell us what you do for SRS Labs? I am a uh, research engineer, which okay. basically means I write software, I develop new algorithms, uh, play with microphones, a little bit of everything. Really. You have like the best job on the planet, basically. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. So, how did you get into? Um, actually, before that, this guy's kind of distracting me. Who who is this, and why is he here? <laughs> uh, so this this is Carl. Okay. Um, he is our binaural dummy. Um, we use him to do research into the human hearing system. Um, we do that by measuring this thing called an HRTF, which is uh, head related transfer function. Okay. So a head related transfer function is essentially a model of the human hearing system. So whenever you listen to something, you've mm -hmm. actually got two ears. So if you put on headphones, you need to actually hear over those headphones. Yeah what's going to be in both ears. Okay. So if, if you've got a sound source here, you've got, in essence, one path going to this ear, and you've got a second path that's slightly longer going to this ear. Mm -hmm. So you've got a difference in time that you need to model into the system. And then you've got this other thing, which is basically, um, sounds a lot like light. Um, it actually scatters and moves around objects in a similar kind of way. So when you, if you've ever seen like the, the cover of The Dark Side of the Moon. Yes, Floyd. Yes, it's yeah. got uh, that prism on it and it's got the light going all these different directions. Um, and sound does the same kind of thing whenever it hits a solid object. It kind of scatters in the different directions. So when you get, the sound you get into this ear is slightly different than the sound you get to this ear whenever you're listening. So those are the things that your brain uses to tell you where something is in space. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've got this guy here for, is to actually allow us to capture that information. And I would assume that helps us develop like a more natural sound or that surround sound experience, correct? Well, absolutely. I mean, so the, the idea is we've got a surround sound headphone, and what we've done is we've got models for stuff in front of you, behind you, here, 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 all the five different positions. We're actually emulating that try and recreate what you would hear truly if you were listening to a real 5-1 system over headphones. That's really cool. So that goes back to that whole idea of having the best job in the world and you know getting to work on things like this. And mm -hmm. So what makes this dummy um, a little bit different than maybe other ones out there in terms of what it allows us to do? Well, so what's kind of cool about this guy, I mean it's got a couple of neat features. You can swap out the ears. These are actually nice and fleshy. You feel kind of, it's a little weird. They feel like your real ears. Carl's ears. Exactly. Really so. But you can swap out the ears to model different ear sizes. You can do ear canal stuff. Um, you can actually put speakers in this guy and have microphones to actually measure if you're trying to do like a speech simulation or something like oh, that's that. That's cool. So you can do all these kind of neat things, but really in the end, any HRTF that you're capturing is really about getting the data that you need. So for example, I actually made my own at one point, and it was actually, you know, measuring some different properties. I'm not going to get into that at all. Sure. That's another podcast. But <laughs> in essence, this is my boxy HRTF. It's just a box with some microphones spaced out with uh -huh. some separation between them. And really what it comes down to is it's whatever allows you to capture that information to actually recreate the proper audio effect. So it's it Very really neat. is relative, you know? Very neat. So at the end of the day, like, not only did we learn what an HRTF is, but we learned how this dummy helps us here um, you know, create the audio technologies that we provide, and we learn a little bit about you. So I think that is all the time we have today, cool. and we appreciate you, you know, telling us about all this cool stuff. No problem. All right, take care.